for cheap deals on games and codes, then check out cdkeys.com. They have a ton of great deals and offers on a whole range of gaming products. Check out the affiliate link in the description to head over to their website. It's been no secret that I've been getting frustrated about Konami's lack of, well, anything productive regarding the release of Ibrox and Celtic Park into the game. I'm not the only one either. Almost every day I get more questions from you guys asking if I know any more information about the release date and I'm unable to give you anything because of non-existence of communication from the company. My entire Rangers Master League series started and ended over a course of three months without us getting any further along the line of the release. Whilst we still have no tangible release date confirmed by Konami, both rumours and comments that I've came across during the last few days have given me some hope and caused me to begin speculating that we may be in store for a potential release of the two stadiums along with the missing face scans for both Rangers and Celtic during the month of December. So, with that in mind, let me talk to you guys about some of the hints that have come to my attention that have caused me to do so. Now, it all started when I received a comment on one of my previous videos on the topic recently. It was from Bizja1, my apologies if I've butchered that username who stated that the data packs with the seriously large updates usually come towards the end of the year. And as both clubs are featured teams in the My Club game mode, the stadiums could be released to coincide with the next Old Firm derby. Now, this is a really good point. There is no better way to market this release than to provide the update in during the build-up to an Old Firm game. The release essentially does the advertising itself because of the hype and the media attention beforehand. For those of you that may not know, the next Old Firm Derby is set to take place at the end of December. With that in mind, you also have the added incentive of the Christmas period. And Konami, of course, have a calling card in the release of the stadiums and the face scans to aid their sales numbers over that Christmas period. The two teams really do have that sort of reach. Early December, perhaps the second week, would possibly be the absolute best time to both announce and release the data pack. Not only would it help in-game sales, but pushing the two clubs' marketing on the game in general with this update may also help them financially via microtransactions. More people buying my club coins sounds like their sort of incentive to follow on from this i also came across an image posted by someone on twitter showing that the future my club selections which for those of you that don't know is essentially the clubs that will be featured each week to give people the opportunity to get the players of those teams in packs we see here that both celtic and rangers are on the list which may further indicate that what we've just spoken about could be the case. Something else that came to my attention on Twitter that is perhaps far less tangible than what we've spoken about was the social media responses from Konami on questions about the stadiums. In the past, the answers were very vague, stating that there was no news on a date and that they'd simply be coming soon. However, someone brought focus on how the recent answers have been different in that they are now saying the stadiums will be released in an upcoming data pack which forgive me if it feels like i'm clutching at straws but it sounds like to me from that answer that they will be in the next data pack previously there were no mentions of an upcoming data pack when the social media team were answering these questions but it's reasonable to suggest that this allusion to a future update could soon suggest that the update is around the corner. I'm sorry if I am clutching at straws here, but I think we're all just desperate to see the stadiums and the face guns in the game now. It has been over three months, and we've already seen the likes of the Stade Louis II, the Chinese Super League, and the Thai League be prioritised over these two stadiums, despite the fact that the announcement of these two licences helped to sell a load more copies of the game 
than those previously mentioned additions did. It's worth bearing in mind that when the stadium's data pack is released, they probably won't be the only thing. The previous additions that I just mentioned all came as part of one data pack during October. So there is always the possibility that there will be more along with the stadiums and the face scans for the two teams. Perhaps a new league, more team licenses, who knows? But it's certainly something worth considering and hoping for it to come to fruition. The more welcome additions to the game, the better. Hopefully all of these things we've spotted really do mean that we're set for the data pack in December. One thing I do want to ask you guys is what do you think the stadiums will be like? And in particular, do you think that on old firm fixtures, Konami will have included the feature of the away fans getting more seats than the usual away allocation? I know that this isn't the case this season, but in previous years, it has always been the thing. And I think it would make for an unbelievable atmosphere in-game. Konami are known for putting in a lot of small but really nice touches in Pro Evo that just make it that little bit sweeter of an experience. Let me know in the comments and also let me know whether you think the stadiums will be released in December or if you think I'm clutching at straws. On that note, it's time to finish it there. Remember to leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more regular gaming content. Don't forget to check out cdkeys.com for all of the best deals on games and codes. You can visit the website using the affiliate link in the description. Until next time guys, I'm Brom18 and I'll see you soon. Come on.